Antibiotic resistance is recognized as an international public health challenge that, if not addressed, could be a leading cause of death globally in 50 years. And because of this medical humanitarian organization, Doctors Without Borders or Medicine Sans Frontiers, has been awarded a Google grant to develop an app to help diagnose antibiotic resistance, especially in low resource setting. And to tell us more about this, we have with us in the studio, Dr. Karina Aguilar from Doctors Without Borders. So good morning, Doc, and welcome. Good You've been morning. a busy lady traveling all over the world, and you are an anesthetist who joined um, Doctors Without Borders yes. way back in 2012, and you've been in how many countries <laughs> since, right? Yes. So, so first, do tell us, um, what is antibiotic resistance? So basically, antibiotic resistance is when um, a patient develops um, a resistance to the first line of antibiotics that is normally given. For example, in context of war, the wounds, when it becomes infected, the the wounds is he not healing. It's not healing. Now, when you say develop, are we born with this, or is this something that is developed, as you said, through time, or maybe not taking the proper, you know, the length of time? <laughs> of antibiotics. <laughs> so it's usually um, misuse of antibiotics, okay. overuse of antibiotics All as right. well. So we have to watch that. And you've been yeah. supervising operations of MSF hospitals in Iraq and you've also been as I said to other countries as well so tell us you know why is it so important to address this issue it's a very important issue because in it was projected by where the World Health Organization that in 50 years it's going to be the leading cause of global mortality of the leading cause of death in the whole world if we don't start doing something about it. Okay, and doing something, um, your foundation specialized in uh, created this um, Doctors Without Borders, and you have been awarded um, $1.3 million from, from Google Artificial Intelligence Impact Challenge grant to develop a smartphone app, okay, that would help doctors diagnose antibiotic resistance. So tell us about this app. Okay, so this app, um, basically the Google grant, it was um, back in 2018, um, Google wanted, um, did an open call for um, organizations all over the world and to incorporate artificial intelligence in addressing societal challenges or health problems. So this was the proposal put up by the MSF Foundation, which is an entity created by MSF. Um, in bringing innovation in delivering proper health care in a humanitarian setting. Okay, so tell, tell us about the app. How does it actually work? So it usually, because usually you do a culture, like a culture test. So this culture test after 24 to 48 hours, normally now the conventional setting is that in seven days you get the, the test. Mm -hmm. But with this app, you just take a picture after 48 hours, once the culture is already developed, you just take a picture and the app will tell you whether, at what, what antibiotic is the mm -hmm. organism sensitive to. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so you can address it right away without all the trial and errors. Oh, I've given him this antibiotic. Or yes, it's, just, it it's not work. a trial and error anymore. anymore. It's going to be very specific, a very targeted therapy and you don't muck around with um, with trial and error. Like experimentation and whatnot. So what time yes. light, timeline are we actually looking at? So normally the app would, could, can be developed in three to four months, but the testing is the one that takes time. So it can be rolled out, like the testing would take around six to six months to a year, and then it will be rolled out into the public in around three years ideally. So three years from now, from 2019, so we're looking more like 2021, 2022 yes. to actually make that happen. Well, thank yes. you yeah. so much. And will Very this well. be actually be apl applicable in the Philippines as well? Um, most probably, yes, particularly in resource and low resource settings where our far flung, flung areas, in far flung areas, it can be it can be really, it can be used. It's it, going to be very it, useful for our hospitals. It's going to be very helpful as well. And we understand that you do have something happening in Cebu. 
Yes. Could you tell us that like a photo exhibit? Yes, we are going to have a photo exhibit uh, in Cebu. It's called Hashtag We Are MSF. So it's going to be in Ayala Center, Cebu from June 7 to 12. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations to you. More power. And um, of course, uh, do open it up for other people that do want to join your organizations. I'm sure ah. you're doing such a wonderful job. And, and Yes, um, we would we would very much um, would need a lot of volunteers. We need all the help that we can get. Um, you can they can just go to our website to go through the procedure and if they want to volunteer. Wonderful, thank you so much. That was Dr. Karina Gilar from Doctors Without Borders. Maraming salamat.